Hey, what's going on guys? It's Charles here with D2APDesigns.com and I'm bringing you another Illustrator tutorial. Um, it seems like a lot of people like the vintage style logos. Um, so I've been looking around at some different ones and I saw this one. thought it was pretty neat and it's fairly simple to do and so I thought I would share it with you guys. Um, so I'm going to come over here and immediately just go ahead and grab out the ellipse tool. Uh, I'm going to hold down Alt and Shift to make a perfect circle. Um, I'll just go ahead and make this black for right now. Now I'm going to come up to Effects. I'm going to go to Distort and Transform and click on Zigzag. Um, click Preview so we can see what we're doing. Personally, um, I like to smooth out the corners. I don't like those jagged points. And then for size, um, let's do... 12 and then for segments let's up it to 15 and I think I want to drop this down to 10 again and I'm going to drop this down to 13 or so yeah okay I'm going to go with 11 okay so we have that now we're going to come up to object and hit expand appearance and next we're going to want to make another circle right in the center of this one. Uh, right there. Now I'm going to select them both by holding down shift. And then I'm going to come over here to my Pathfinder. If you don't have Pathfinder, you can come uh, to Windows and it's right there. Or you can hit Control, uh, shift Control F9 and that will bring it up. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and click on this one right here. And so that just removes the center. And now I'm going to grab another circle, drag it out right to the edges. And that should do it. Okay. So next thing, we'll, we'll uh, go ahead and remove this in here. So go ahead and uh, grab out your rectangle tool. I'm going to find the center again. I'm going to hold down Alt. Drag this out here. Now you can make this as big as you want. I'm going to go ahead and make it about this size here. And then I'm just going to right click, transform, rotate, and then copy. Only reason I did that is just to make a quick duplicate of it. Okay, now I'm going to hit, uh, click on it, click on the rectangle, click on the circle, um, and select both. Again, you have to hold shift to do that. And then come to my pathfinder, hit the same thing as last time. And then we're going to click on the rectangle and click on this outer piece and then delete it. So the first thing we did was we deleted the inner circles um, center piece here and then we did the outside. So next thing to do, um, I guess we can do the text real quick. Uh, that's not really a big deal. Uh, we'll just do color like that for right now. I'm not really going to worry about the text too much. I mean, uh, it's text. You guys can pretty well do what you want with it. Um, um, up here, um, I have the align tools, so if I want to find the center real quick, I can just click on my text and then hit that and it centers it. So now that I have that, I'm just going to grab this, hold down Alt and drag to duplicate it. And then we'll just type in um, EST2015. And then let's go ahead and shrink this down, something smaller, something like that maybe. Go ahead and align it in the center. Uh, grab out the ellipse tool. Add in these little dots on the side here. Um, so as I said before, this isn't going to be perfect. I'm just setting this stuff up real quick just to give you guys an idea of how to do it. Um, next thing we need to do is this arrow. It's pretty simple. Um, so go ahead and grab out your rectangle tool. Drag it out like this. And then we're going to take our uh, direct selection tool. Um, select the two points up here and then just drag them 
like that. So nothing too difficult about that. And now I'm going to um, select it, right click, transform, reflect, um, copy. And now we can just drag this out here, line them up. And then once we've done that, come over here and hit merge under the Pathfinder tool. And now we can just shrink these to whatever size we want them. Something like that will be good. Duplicate it by, <clears throat> okay, let me just go over that again. So um, select it, hold down Alt, and drag straight back to duplicate it, just like that. Um, and then for the arrow, it's not really a big deal. It's just like a triangle. So for that, we can just use the star tool. Um, using the arrow keys on your keyboard, the up and down, just hit down to reduce the number of points there are, and that'll make a triangle. You can also hold down Alt, or excuse me, not Alt, um, Control, to adjust the points. So that looks to be about a perfect triangle there. So I'll go ahead and select that then, and we'll just rotate it. redo that real quick because it got messed up. Um, so the star tool, hold down shift, there we go, that's what I wanted. Yeah, the angle got messed up last time. So we'll go ahead and rotate it, drag it out here, make it, maybe make it a little longer like that. And then uh, for the line, as you can see, um, you can do it that a number of ways, you can grab, grab like a line tool. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and grab out the rectangle tool and just make a quick little line like that. Drag that forward and then um, click on it, hold Alt, drag it out to duplicate it. And there's that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and drag this back. And then um, you can adjust these colors to whatever you want. Um, but that's that's the idea. Um, as you can see, it looks like they went ahead and put it on like a nice background and changed the some of the settings to help blend it into the background and stuff like that. They probably put it on like overlay or something. So uh, yeah, just play with it, guys. Um, you you have the basic idea of how to create this now. So it's kind of up to you to decide what colors you want to do. Um, what fonts and things like that. So I hope this was helpful to you guys, and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, and until next time, peace.